Hey guys, it's your boy Scare. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tips video on 1 to 2 second auto boosters um, and a bit of advice when using them in raids and in situations like that. So we're going to start off with a very simple booster which is a 2.4, yep, 2.4 second booster. So we just turn that on. Now if you notice, I am using the forward down method in a conjunction with piston pushing method. Um, because obviously we know that our power is going to be about 15 high. So we can have the booster as high as, high as the power. Because I know that the normal fall, falling method, you need to have your booster up like 70 blocks. Um, so with this one we're only putting it at 15 blocks high just so it's not protruding out of the cannon or anything like that. Um, so as you can see it's working with ease. Um, no issues whatsoever. Also note that the boosters are actually being pushed and realigned all the way to the to the north side. Which means that when it when it powers when it shoots all this um, power, I don't know, say to over here it would all automatically be aligned to the left so you don't need a realigner I don't know like here or anything like that um, just a quick tip so now we'll go over to our next booster so here we have a slightly faster one which is a 1.5 um, as you can see it's very similar in speed and in design or well, it uses pist like layers of pistons like the one that I showed in the breakdown video of the other booster. Um, but obviously it's just so much cleaner and a lot more compact. Um, it just goes like 0.5 slower because we only have like three layers of pistons instead of four. Um, but you can always add another layer and you'll be able to go one second um, with it. So yeah, we'll just fire this. And of course with the pistons again, these are going to be realigning it to the utmost maximum for the north side, so you won't need to realign your power over here. Um, so yeah, looks very nice. No problems whatsoever. Now we're going to get into um, my advice on a rating situation. Now, as you can see in the video that I have on the screen right now, Credits to the guy who made this video, by the way. Not my video. Um, as you can see, he's making some sort of infinite um, push contraction where it pushes a lot of blocks in a short period of time. And as you can see on his screen, on his mic, well, because well, he's on a Minecraft single player world, just note that, not on a server. As you can see on his screen, the blocks that are moving um, visually, it's very laggy. Very laggy. Um, and the reason for that is because there's many um, block updates, or well, lighting updates. So whenever we say push a piston like this, we'll get rid of that. So when we turn it on and off, it's updating one, it's making a block update, well, lighting update, right? Each lighting update makes, create a, a bit of processing power. So every time you make a block update, or well, a lighting update, it's going to lag. Obviously one won't lag the server, but it adds more processing for the server to do. Now, when we have a sticky piston with a block on it, as you can see there's two block updates because this piston's extending out one block and this cobblestone block is being pushed out by one. So there's two block updates. Now, this is a reason why a lot of people, including myself, um, know why these lag, these types of boosters lag in a rating situation because when you have many pistons pushing at once um, every second, because remember this is like a 1.5 second order, so we'll say 1.5 seconds each one of these we're pushing in and out that's a lot of block updates. Now I know 9 pistons won't be a lot but when you have sticky pistons it makes it into 18 
and then when you have the power, which will be about three layers too, you know, this is like 15 long, three layers, that's 45, plus it's a sticky piston, so it's 90. So that's just like 100 there, just for the power. And when we include the hammer and all the other boosters, there'll be around 200 block updates, lighting updates. And 200 lighting updates every second is going to make the server lag a lot. Um, depending on, you know, the type of CPU, memory, all that good stuff. Um, so that's a good thing to note when you guys are using this. So instead, I've been using TNT to push instead of pistons in my rating situation. So it's the same thing, it's just pushing the projectiles on, down, on, down, on, down. So this one's faster, this one's a 1.5, uh, yeah 1.5. So as you can see it pushes and it just falls down. Obviously it's, it's nowhere near as compact as that. The redstone is a bit, slightly worse, but that's alright. Um, so yeah, with this method there won't be any lag at all. Um, so we'll put it onto the auto part now. And you'll see there's no issues whatsoever. Now note that I have glass in between each booster because I'm pretty sure this booster here won't affect the TNT over there if I took it off. Like this booster, for the booster here won't impact this projectile here. Um, but just in case I do like to put, to like I like to isolate them with blocks so they don't interfere with each other. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And like pistons, um, this last boost is relining the projectiles to the north side of the block. So your power, which is over here, will be aligned to the left, which means you won't need to realign anything. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Whoops. I feel like there was a last one, another one. Um, so as you can see, no issues there. Done. Now we go to this one. It's very similar. Um, I think the redstone's a bit different. Yeah, so this top part's a bit different to that one. Um, this one goes slightly faster. It's like 1.4. Um, but yeah, it does the same thing. And when we have a faster clock, obviously, to a point, we have to quick pulse. Because otherwise, if we don't, then it'll just make one infinite loop of redstone. So as you can see, it does the same thing. Um, you could also make this faster, like, you could make it so the TNT gets pushed out further, which means it won't impact this up here anymore, which means you can take off delay. Or you could just add another layer of dispensers, and it'll easily be able to shoot. Um, under one second. And to do this with the power or the projectile you're actually boosting, it's a lot harder because as you can see the boosters here are isolated. So there's one TNT, then it's a block, then one TNT, then a block. It's isolated. Whilst with the power, everything's connected. <coughs> everything's connected, so um, you need to use one whole line of power that isn't isolated. Or booster, sorry. I'll just make this as an example. So, so that's how boost and so we just do that. That's a projectile. As you can see, it goes all the way to the side over there. So you have to be very careful with how you use the, the actual boosters for the power or hammer or whatever projectile you're shooting out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave a comment down below on what you want to see next and I'll do it. Peace.